Okay, as nervous as I am, I think it is about time that we go ahead and try and take out the alley cats. I don't know what kind of control they have over anywhere, if I'm completely honest. We've got the loop itself, which we could take a look into, but... We can't really see much up there. We've got uh, the West Loop Gate. We can't really see anything into. A lot of things destroyed over here. I think the Donovans are probably still going at some kind of war or other. But I think this right here is an opportunity to take out the, the Alley Cats again. I'm a little nervous about it. I am going to save is what I'm going to do. Just again to be sure that I don't die horribly. Info-wise... Their security is not absolutely incredible, but uh, let's give this a shot. So Clyde's lover, Jazz Murphy, is in here. Clyde may leave if she is killed. I don't know that there's anything we can do about that. I know we, we already knew that, right? So Clyde is here. Clyde is one of my best. That's what frustrates me. Clyde, Clyde is one of my best. Hire ye. Now, I can't hire you because you're already hired by the Alley Cats. So what I wonder is if the Alley Cats were to perhaps... Hmm. We're not actually at war with the Alley Cats. Okay. Okay. In which case, we're going to declare war. We're going to invite... Okay. We're not going to invite anybody to it because I don't think anybody else is going to join. 95% success chance. Let's go to war. We're now at war. And they really don't like me. Now, we could offer a truce and try and make a deal. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to attack... And we're going to hope that Jazz doesn't get killed in here. That's, that's what we're going to hope here. So. Let's find out, I guess, what we're going to be able to do. Now, I do want to get into positions where I'm not going to die horribly. Most of my folk are in cover. You're up there. You're there, and you're there. I don't think we're going to get attacked right away. So let's move Daniel into that position right there. And then I reckon these three are going to move around a little bit. They're not going to be able to do too much. This one might try and attack, but I doubt it. And this fella back here, I don't think he's going to try and attack either. No, we're fine. So he's actually putting himself in a spot where he's going to get got, which I approve of. So Grover's already in cover. Let's have Grover try and take this guy out. So that is a fantastic start. We could try and finish him off there. We could try and throw a knife at him. But I think uh, Marlena needs to move. Marlena is not in a good spot. So let's put Marlena back here. Which is a good spot of cover. And then she can still fire and 50% to take that guy out. We missed. That's not good, but it's okay. Got another guard moving up. That's fine. Clyde is going to be the tricky one. Let's try and get Clyde to move into, uh, into this spot. And see if he can take someone out. 71%. 46%. 41%. 26%. Let's do the 71. Try and kill someone. Oh, come on! <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Can I get this ticking time bomb in here? I absolutely can. Interesting. Let's try it. A Tommy right there. Oh, that was beautiful, actually. All right, Nora Quinn. 62%. Who, uh, who is this? So that fella's probably gonna move. Nora, I'm going to try and have her kill. Oh, come on. Why are we all missing? Why are we all terrible right now? Why are we all actually terrible right now? 
I think this might be a good spot of cover. It's, it's going to be at least a little bit of cover. Now, 58%. Come on. There we go. It's about bloody time we got one of them. Now, Jazz Murphy is going to be trouble. Jazz Murphy is going to be a lot of trouble. That is someone I am worried about. Now, she's attacking. Oh, my God. Tommy! <laughs> All right. I noticed Jazz Murphy seems to be in that cabinet there. That's got me a little worried. 68% chance that we hit Mabel from here. I think we aim for that person, though. Try and take out someone that's already injured. There we go. Now, this person's going to move up a little bit. They're moving into cover, though, so nothing major to worry about there. Grover. I kind of want you to target 95% chance on that person. 80% chance on Mabel. Can I get you... No, I don't know if I can get you to do anything. Okay, Grover. Let's say 100% chance on that guard. 95% on that one, though. I reckon we could kill them if we do it. There we go. All right. And then... Let's have Marlena target... Uh, oh, boy. Maybe target Jazz. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's have Marlena move oh, up a little bit. It. So Marlena's got some cover. 50% to hit that fella. And we missed. That's okay. We're doing better than we were. Tommy is not in a good way. But if we can... Uh, oh, who are you aiming for? Okay, that's fine. If we can get someone to pick up Tommy, which this old bag here can do, we'll be all right. Okay. So what do we got here? What kind of gun are you... That's an auto... Why are we using an auto-5 shotgun on Clyde? What is his other weapon? It's a pistol? I don't know how I feel about Clyde using a, uh, a pistol. I might try and have him flank around, but I don't know if we need to do that. Let's just do 66% chance. We missed. That's fine. Uh, the doctor here... I want to get Tommy back on his feet. That's going to be my priority for, uh, for Tommy there. We'll get him back up. And then she can 77% uh, chance. I like it. There we go. Cool. So that fella, I reckon, yeah, he's going to go for cover. Which gets him killed. And also gets some fire on Jazz Murphy there. Who is hurting. Oh, please don't kill her. Clyde Malone is worried since... Okay. Clyde, you're fine. You're fine. Jazz, as long as you don't kill someone... Oh, no. Jazz Murphy, what are you doing? I don't want to kill Jazz Murphy. Oh, what are you doing? Overwatch. That's a hell of an Overwatch. We can't really move anyone right now. Okay, 83%. Let's take that chance. Oh, that was a hell of a hit. Good Lord. That's fine, though. That's all right. Who's moving next? Oh. Oh, no. What are you doing? Overwatch. Okay, that's got me worried. Grover, I really don't want you to kill Jazz Murphy, but you would do it. Let's have you shoot that fella. Who else we got? We got you. You could kill... Oh, no. 10% chance. I don't... I don't want to do it. I don't... Who is this? 25%... Oh, no. I d this is such a risk. If we do this and Clyde... Clyde is so... Important right now. Clyde is kind of a big deal. I don't want to lose him. But I think we're going to have to take that chance. Okay, that was actually impressive that we missed. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? No, don't heal. Oh, no. Okay, that's annoying. 46% chance. Let's take it. Oh, of course. All right, Tommy's back on his feet, which is good. But Tommy is as good as dead if that Overwatch kicks in. Now, what could he do? 40% chance to kill this person? Let's take it. Oh. Oh, that was pretty good. That was genuinely pretty good. Who are you aiming at right now? That one? 67, 38, 72. Let's try and knock that person out of their Overwatch. 
There we go. Didn't knock them out of- oh, it did actually knock them out of the Overwatch. Alright, that plays nicely for me. Um, so you can target Jazz from there. I don't really want you to do that. I'm on it. Let's move you up a little bit. And 50%, 45%, let's take the 45. Lower chance, but if we do it, which unfortunately we didn't. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, first aid kit. That's okay. A first aid kit is not the end of the world. Although, what I'm realizing Mabel is probably about to do is maybe really risky. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah, Tommy! Oh, I can't believe Tommy's dead. What are the chances on that? 74? Who is this? So that person in the back, 78% chance. I like those odds. I do like those odds. Because it puts us in a spot where we're stacking all of our people up to, uh... No, 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 no! Grover! Move over! Oh, they're all leaving. They're all... No, 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 no. This is what happened last time. Why are they leaving? Don't leave! Oh, for God's sake. 36%. Okay, 56. Let's take that chance. Oh, no. Oh, Christ. You've got to be kidding me. Right, we are... <laughs> We're in a really, really bad setup right now. Uh, 42% chance. Okay. Really wish I had some explosives right now, but there we go. We got the hit. That's fine. Maria. 36%. What can we do? What can we do? You could, you could probably take out Jazz Murphy, but I don't, I don't know. Let's try it. I cannot believe you're missing all of these. I'm going. Jez, don't you dare. Oh, no. And now Mabel, or whatever her friggin' name is, Mabel Riley, medic's kit. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That puts her in a spot to get kind of effed up a little bit. Now, Daniel, 89%. Daniel's gonna take a bullet here. I doubt it's gonna kill him. It missed. This might be it. This could be it. That was so close. Okay. Okay. There it is. That's what we want. Okay. Who are you getting back on your feet there? I need you 51% chance to kill Mabel Riley. There it is. That's what we want. Now, do I need to kill these last two? I'm actually slightly worried that I do. I'm actually very worried that I might need to kill these last two. I don't want to kill these last two. I don't think I can just leave though. Or can I? Maybe we can? I feel like there's a chance. So if I just have you go there and... I don't know, you go there. We're gonna lure them in a little bit. They're all, like, Jazz is only gonna target Daniel. So what I'm wondering, I mean, Daniel can put this person down. Daniel can put Jazz down as well. I wonder. Let's put that person down. So just nice and nearly does it, I guess. That's fine. All right, Clyde. Let's... Let's have Clyde leave. I think that would be a good idea. So, escape combat. So, Clyde is gone. I want you to kill that person. Or miss. Tremendously. That's fine. Um... Oh, God almighty. Okay. Uh... You need to reload. And from here... 26%. Let's just have you try and escape. This might kill Daniel, though. Daniel Daniel is at risk right now. Oh, I don't like this. Let's have you escape. We're gonna try it. 
We're gonna. I want to see what happens if I have my people escape, right? I want to see what happens because if I have them escape, do we technically win? Is what I'm wondering. Because we did kill Mabel. We did kill their leader, and that's all I want to do. So now that we've escaped, no loot recovered, that's fine. The alley cats are gone. Now I failed something. Oh, an alley. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, Mabel Riley is dead. Their empire is now mine. That's what we want. The war is over. That'll teach them. Okay. So we got out of there. Now what I think we're going to go do is uh, celebrate by traveling there. And we're going to buy their old safe house. And we're just going to turn it into uh, what would be the ultimate disrespect? A brothel. Adam and Eve. So there we go. Well, honestly, should have called it the Alley Cats, but that's fine. Uh, let's go grab this place as well. And we'll just turn it into uh, probably a speakeasy of some sort. Or a casino or a brewery. Could do a brewery. I think a speakeasy is probably fine, though. Kios. We'll take that name from earlier. And there we go. So the Alley Cats are dead. Which is fantastic. And totally fine by me. So if I zoom out a little bit, I don't own anything right now. The South Loop I would like to own, but I I don't I don't currently own it. Now what do I own and where is the question? So over here I got a couple places. Over here I got nothing. Over here I got nothing. In the loop I've got nothing. I'm just wanting to check around and see if the alley cats had anything I wasn't aware of. I get the feeling that I very much put them down. Yeah. Who is that? So that's fine. Word's getting around I'm in bed with the cops. People aren't too happy. Okay, I don't really care. My rating with the Jenna crime family is decreased. Now that I care about, I will say. That is a worry. That were, you know, if the Jenna crime family was to come after me, that would not be good for business. That would absolutely not be good for business, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. Reach 20,000 gross weekly income, promote an underboss. Probably not a bad idea. Control two neighborhoods, hold 50 rackets, produce 100 barrels weekly, trade with another boss. See what the... Stranger stumble around the neighborhood once. Talk to Izzy. Maria needs to talk to me. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's have a little look here. So, who is most loyal to me? Maria has 386 out of 500 loyalty. Her morale is okay. Clyde is fairly loyal, and you know what? To prove my loyalty to Clyde. Now, who was it? He didn't who who is it, Clyde? So you. Hi, are you? Jez Murphy. Let's you your morale is pretty low. But just to keep you happy, and just to stop Correct. Clyde from getting too worried. I think we'll bring both of them on board. And I think what we'll do is maybe Clyde could become our underboss. He does look like a bit of a, a boss. Grover is very loyal. The most loyal is Maria, though. Which is interesting. That's very interesting. Maria also has higher morale. Huh. All right. All right. All right. Who do we want to bring on board? I guess is the question at this point. Who do we want to bring on board? For, uh, to be an underboss. Maria has done some good. I think Clyde is, his hit points are almost, are pretty much double hers as well. I think it's going to be Clyde. Let's make him an underboss. Wait, I can't do it until my, no oh, my notoriety needs to be 500. Okay. Never mind then. 
That's fine. We got some upgrades still going across this neighborhood. We got something going down here in Paradise Slot. So let's travel and let's see what's going on. So, who do we need to talk to? Are they both? I think they might both be inside. Let's go. I really should probably put some uh, some of my people in various safe houses, but that's fine. Who is this? That's Jim, and that's the guard. Let's go talk to my guard. So what's going on here? Hey, good to see you, boss. If you're looking for a suspect, we got him here in the back room. Uh, what's he done? He was winning pretty big in one of our poker tables, so we started watching him more carefully. It turns out he was stuffing cards up his sleeves, playing them whenever he felt he could get away with it. Once we uh, saw that, we dragged them off the table and into the back room. We were just about to have a, uh, <laughs> a strong word with them. When we figured it'd be best to get you involved. Yeah, good idea. I'll head into the back and talk to him. You this fella. Huh? <laughs> what? I ain't done any of what they said I did. They said you stuffed cards up your sleeve and played them in a poker match. Is that true? Ah, well, that part's true, sure. But that's only because you made it so easy to do. I wouldn't, wouldn't have done it if it was harder. Honest. So you're blaming me and my crew for your cheating. Uh, not really blaming, but, uh, yeah. Now, if you had someone like me working for you, uh, you wouldn't have had, uh, you wouldn't have any more problems like this. I swear. And what do you mean? Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I work for you, right? So I sit at your tables and I play your games, only, uh, I win all the time. Or, almost all the time. You can't win all the time, but people figure it out, right? Figure what out. That I'm on your side. I'll be playing against other people in them poker tables. But really, I'd be winning for you. Putting money back in your pocket. And the wheel keeps going round. How much of a gut you want? Should we say, uh, 30%? Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> Do I want you doing that? We could take his hands off. I feel like if people found out I had someone at my own tables, it could be really bad for my reputation. Guards, take his hands! Does he have a golden revolver? He does. Well, you know what? I reckon it, uh, it sucks to be him. There we go. I think it's just the lighting in here makes it look gold. Well, that fella's been dealt with. A little bit of notoriety there. Let's get the hell out of here. People ain't too happy about the shooting. Understood. But that... I mean, that went pretty well, I gotta say. I have, uh, I've got to say, that, that did go well. Now, where are my people? Didn't I bring... Where are you right now? I actually have no idea where you are. She's not with us. Oh, she's over there. Nora has a new talent. Shotgun training for the old woman. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. We are doing shotgun training for Nora. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking at this point. I'm thinking at this point. What the hell? Why are they attacking me? That has me kind of curious. In fact, that has me very curious. Let's put you down. Huh. Okay. Jazz Murphy's been made, huh? So these fellas here, are we at war with them or are they just not like me? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. They want a little bit of trouble. I'm going to take their casino. If they wanna if they wanna attack one of my people, I'm gonna take their casino. And I can do it pretty easily. Let's get everybody to travel here. Light up. Oh, they are attacking me. Interesting. I guess they really don't like me. Alright. That's fine by me. I'm more than happy to put them down. I'm more than happy to put them down. I will take everything that they have. And I'll make it mine. That is absolutely no problem. I need to get Marlena something other than a pistol. Oh, she's got a rifle. There we go. All right. 
Well, that was easy. I'm not going to declare war. I'm going to do it the way I have. Are we at war? We might. Are we at war with these people? Hold on a minute. What? What is going on here? I'm not too worried about these small factions. These fellas. Interesting. So I am. I am paying them some things. We are going to cancel our standing order with them. We are not going to declare war, though. I do want to know how powerful are they. So, am I a threat to them? What do they own? So they own five speakeasies. They have one safe house. They have three casinos. Whereas, what do I? What do I own? So we can compare here, right? So I have two safe houses, 13 speakeasies, nine casinos, five breweries, and seven brothels. Okay, well, I think we're going to chase these people out of this neighborhood is what we're going to do. I think we're going to chase them out. So let's attack this casino. And let's get in there. Should be nice and easy. Really shouldn't be too difficult to uh, take it over with this many people going in. All right, what are we looking at? We got a guard there, got by the Overwatch, which was not very effective at all. But that's fine. Let's see, 83% chance. 83, let's take the 83. A little bit further away, see if we can do some damage before they even get close. Grover, 100% chance, let's take it. Job done. Beautiful, that's what you want to see. Who is this person? So you're way up there. Don't need to worry about you. You are down here. Yeah, let's take that chance. All right, Clyde, what are you up to? You're going to hit that one? Sure. Okay. And now they're going to move about a little bit. They're going to try and get into defensive positions. Ooh, you've marked Maria. Okay. And you're... F Ooh, you hit Maria. That was a good shot with a pistol. I'll give you credit, fella. I don't appreciate that shot being taken, but I will give you credit. It was a good one. Now, let's see. Nora, can you hit him? 57% chance. Let's try it. There we go. Let's show them how it's done, Nora. I love that I have an old woman in my crew right now. I love that I have an old woman in the crew. That's kind of that's kind of fun. It's like Watch Dogs Legion, except not tremendously kind of disappointing. Uh, let's try reloading here for Maria. 10% chance of hitting that person. I don't know that we're going to do that. Certainly not with a 0% chance. Let's uh, let's take the chance anyway. We actually did it. Okay. Not bad. All right. Jez Murphy. Let's move Jez Murphy into this position here. And that will put us in a uh, good spot for dealing with these last two. Daniel, I think, can move up to here. We'll get him into some good cover. Grover, I reckon, can move to there. I'm all over it. Uh, Nora is not the next one. Who's the next one? The next one is Marlena. Marlena can move to... Uh, Marlena can start going that way. Then we got good old Clyde, who can uh, actually move out and do some shooting if we really want him to, which I'm not completely against the idea of, but I'm going to put him there just to get a little bit more uh, cover and fire. And then this lot. Wow, that was a hell of a shot against Grover. I am not sure I appreciate that. And by not sure, I mean, I don't appreciate that. I don't want Grover dying here. Oh, no. Oh, he's been marked. That might actually kill him. That might kill Grover. That was a miss. That's good. What are you going to do? Oh, no. He's marked again. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. With a pistol from that range? Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's that's fine. A little, I'm a little nervous, but we'll take a 40% chance of hitting someone here. There we go. So that's one down. Nora, or sorry, Jazz, you're going to move up here with your shotgun, I guess. And let's see what you can do. 24%. What's your other weapon? It's a pistol. 39%. Okay. Well, let's do the shotgun from here then. 
I was pretty sure we were going to miss anyway, so that's that's fine. Daniel, 75%. Let's do it. Let's let's take them down a little bit. Grover, 91%. Ni let's do the 91 on the... F yeah, there we go. Okay. Marlena is going to move this way. And then Clyde, I reckon. You can maybe finish this person off. There we go. And that is why they shouldn't have messed with my crew. Let's keep this casino. The Capital Club. That's a fantastic name. 304 on the notoriety. Let's get everybody out of here. And let's see what kind of upgrades we can do to the uh, Capital Club. If anything at all, that is. But uh, I don't mind. I don't mind taking that. I do not mind at all. So... No, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Everybody back out. Uh, info. Now. The Capital Club is not really making much money right now. Let's do a little bit on ambience. Let's do a little bit on games. Let's bring in more people, I reckon. What's the customers looking like? Oh, yeah. Word of mouth needs to go up for sure. And uh, probably security as well. So we'll do all that. We don't have a lot of money right now. Not too worried about it. What is this place? I don't even know what that place is. It's just ransacked recently. That's that's fine, I guess. We have a lot of upgrades going across this entire neighborhood, though. That makes me happy. Wait. The Donovans are scouting, are they? Interesting. Where exactly do the Donovans call home is what I'm wondering. Because it's certainly not over here. They have got a few things over here, but this is not what they call home. Although these guys have a place here as well, which I'd be very tempted to take. And I feel I absolutely could. Honestly, I could take the Donovans out of that neighborhood too, but it's going to annoy the... Uh, that is going to annoy the... Uh, what do you call them? The Jenna Crime family. Who do have a bit of a foothold in uh, this neighborhood as well. I'd like them gone. To be totally honest. I would like them gone. But I think we'll be alright. I think what we could also do whilst we're here is travel to this little place and let's take this over. Because it's just a thug occupied place. We'll just take it over and turn it into a cheap little speakeasy. Just to get further control of the neighborhood. I don't think there's any harm in doing that. So uh, let's take you out. There we go. Uh, Grover, try and take that fella out. There we go. Who else we got? We got you that can't do nothing right now. Okay. Uh, let's have you go there. And see if we can take this one down. Well, 45%. Are we going to do it? No, we're not. Worth a shot. Definitely worth a shot. Clyde, get in there. Take this guy out. 96%. There you go. All right, Nora, let's have you move forward a bit. Let's have Maria move forward a bit. And let's have Jez. Oh, Maria can still shoot, actually. Um, I don't think we're going to hit anybody from here, so... Probably not much point. Let's just do Overwatch, I guess. And then, uh, Jez, where are you? So you are right here. Jez could actually move up and probably shoot him. Right then. So let's give that a shot. Let's see. Jez Murphy, can you uh, put this guy down? Nearly. He oh, does yeah. have a shotgun, but... Oh, there goes the Overwatch shots. Unfortunately, missing. All right, Daniel, can you finish him off? Yes, you can. All right. Well, this place is... Ooh. Not bad. Let's take this over into a uh, cheap little speakeasy. McDuff's bar is fine by me. Right. Let's get the hell out of here. Understood. And uh, yeah, that will just be a little bit more profit. Is uh, is all that will be. That means that entire block is mine as well, which is fantastic. So no complaints here. I want to take these. I, I honestly just want to take everything in here at this point. I don't think it would be a bad idea. Also, when does this reopen? One day. Okay. Let's uh, let's head over that way. 
Gianna has had enough of uh, Gardner's Metal Dames. Ooh, that's interesting. That's actually really interesting because that means that, uh, huh. Okay, that is interesting. All right, let's travel here and attack this place. Hmm. Okay. Let's get in here and, oh, well, good luck to you. Good luck to you is all I'm going to say. There you go. All right. Yeah, let's take this place over. We got a first aid kit. We're going in. We're taking it. And then this gang is going to be out of the neighborhood, which is exactly what we want. So he's dead. And uh, we got the two other guards right here. This might be uh, this might be the uh, the cruelest way that we've ever taken a place over. Good lord. All right, we got one more guard back here. Oh, we actually got a couple more guards. That's interesting. All right, well that one's been hit. Uh, we got you that can shoot that one. I guess we'll take that one out. There we go. We got Nora, who can move forward and hopefully take this one out. And 42% chance. There it is. All right. That was... That was swift, is what that was. Let's make it a, uh, let's make it a casino. The Trillium Casino. You know, I'm going to rename it. I am going to rename it. I'm going to rename it to the uh, Trivium Casino. Just because I happen to really like the band Trivium. And Trillium, and you know, it's it's close enough. Right? right it's, it's, it's close enough. So the Trivium Casino is what we've got there. And that, to me, now means that, yeah, that entire, that gang is out of this neighborhood. Now, most of this place is mine. How do I declare, how do I make it my neighborhood? I'm almost the only one making money in the South Loop right now. Wait, neighborhood owner, Vice Kings. Oh, I am the owner. It just doesn't have my my thing on there. Okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. We got this place. We got... Do we want to try and kick the Donovans out? It's very tempting to want to kick the Donovans out. And then maybe trade with the Jenna crime family for these two places, if that was a thing we could maybe do. Let's try and let's let's go kick the Donovans out of here. Let's just let's just get them out of the neighborhood. Jazz has a new talent, sure. Axe throw. Submachine gun training seems like a better bet though. That's class, lads. Let's see. Let's give you uh let's give you one of these. And I think everybody else has got some kind of uh some kind of armor. So let's just get the Donovans out of this neighborhood. Just real quick, put the guard down. And then, uh, hopefully, just as quickly, go attack this brothel, get them out of here, you know, make more of it mine, and essentially, I'm, we're, we're very, very close to having, uh, this entire neighborhood be mine or thug-owned. And I reckon if I can get this entire neighborhood to be mine... Or thug owned, that is a pretty pretty substantial thing to have done. I think I think that's fair to say. So I guess we'll see what we can do here. Uh Clyde, mate, you are you are not in a good place for doing anything worthwhile right now, so we'll just move you around a little bit. Uh Nora, you are not in much of a good spot either to really do anything worthwhile, so we're just gonna move you up there. Maria's not really in much of a spot either. So move Maria up to the bar. Jez is also not in a good spot to do much of anything right now. So Jez can move up to the bar. Now, this one guard gets an opportunity to move. That one guard may have just wasted their opportunity to survive. Goodbye. That's, that's how it happens. Okay. So, this place is now mine. And we just called it Pleasure Land. I just want to point that out. I just want to point out that the name of this brothel is Pleasure Land. I'm on it. That's gross. <laughs> that's that's kind of that's gross. <laughs> but fair enough. But there we go. We have now just chased every gang except for the Jennas out of this neighborhood. 
I do not mind that too much. Uh, so they're not happy I missed a sit down. There's a bit of friction. Uh, a bit of honor here and there. Their boss is not quite as notorious as mine. Killed a neutral boss. Broke a treaty. So, I'm, I'm reckoning we should try and, uh, let's see. What could I sell to them? What could I sell to them? Could sell poison. Could, could certainly sell poison. What about, hmm. A bit of rack, a bit of top shelf. We could probably try and sell a bit of top shelf. What am I making currently, production-wise? So. Brighton Warehouse in South Loop is making 14 rack. Ironworkers Depot is also making rack. What if we turn that into premium? And then we go back to deals. We set up a standing order. And we offer a little bit of premium. You know, we're selling it. We could do... I reckon 10 premium for 250. I think we can confirm that. Get a little bit of extra money coming in. And I reckon we could offer a little bit of a tribute. We have some money. So let's offer a tribute of about $2,000. Which I think is fine. Just get them to like me a little bit more. I think that seems fair enough. Now, favors-wise, who do I want them to kill? Frankie Donovan? Doesn't like me enough for that. That's fine. Who have we got left at this point? So the Janas, the Donovans, and these guys. So the Donas, you're neutral with the Alley Cats, mate. The Alley Cats are dead. I think. Yeah, the, the alley cats are... I don't... <laughs> what do you mean you don't... You're dead. What do you mean you don't like me? Oh, that might be a bug. <laughs> uh, I think I just broke the game a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> Pre-release. Pre-release. Oh, feck. Um. <laughs> there we go. We fixed it. Okay. Uh, so we have some neutral gangs. We have these guys. So they don't they don't really own much. The Jenna crime family is not quite as impressive as as I am. But that's fine. I think what we do is we try and take these guys out and then we build something up that's pretty impressive against the Jenna crime family. I think that's maybe the way we do things. I don't want to take over their rackets here. Because I think that's just a way to, uh, I think taking over their rackets here is just going to get us, get them agitated and get them a bit pissed off. So I think what we do is we take over the thug owned rackets in this neighborhood. And then, uh, we already own the South Loop. So we take that over. I don't know who owns near South Side. I don't know, I don't know who owns that. I would hazard a guess at the Jenna crime family, but who knows? But I think we take, I think we take South Loop. I think we take maybe Chinatown. Maybe, you know what? I reckon we try and take the entire South side. Because if this is, uh, let's see, if we zoom in. So if this is South Loop, I mean, is that the north end of things? I don't know what the north of anything is here. I'm going to be honest. But I think we try and take this. I think we try and take Chinatown. And I think basically these four. All right. So these four right here. I think we try and take those. Which means we got a little bit of work to do in this neighborhood. We got some Donovans over there as well. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. We're probably going to have some upgrades to do. Well, let's get some of these places upgraded. Get you upgraded. Is it bringing in customers? It is. So that's fine. We can uh, maybe upgrade this uh, casino as well with a bit of uh, bit of everything. A little bit of ambience, a little bit of word of mouth. What are we going to do for you? Poison tipped blade. 
Interesting. Oh, more cover. I like the sound of that. Well, I'm happier than a Let's see about uh, Pleasure Land then. I think a little bit more security, a little bit more ambience, and a little bit more word of mouth just to bring people in, keep them coming. That's, you know, my phrase. Uh, my phrasing on that could have been better, actually, about keeping them, you know. Uh, we're going to move swiftly on from that, though, is what we're going to do. We're going to move real real swiftly on from any of that okay i think we got a pretty good setup here got a bunch of upgrades scheduled for this neighborhood we're pretty much we're almost exclusively making the booze here other than that one brewery and then again it's just it's just thugs so it's it's gonna take a minute to clear this up but we're getting there <laughs> 